Good day everyone, welcome to my first educational YouTube video. Today I will show you how to create any type of forms with the use of your Microsoft account. Okay, so to get started, um, it's very important that before you can create any type of forms using Microsoft account, you should have a login, right? So for you to have a login, okay, this is how you can create your own login with, um, with Microsoft. So you just need to go to your browser, or let's say um, any browser, just type Outlook. Sorry, at office. Sorry, at live.com. All right, and um, after that, you will be routed to this page where there's try premium or try sign in. You don't need to worry. This is for free. You just need to go, uh, click and uh, the hit sign in if you already have a Microsoft account. But if you want it to create because you don't have account yet, so you just need to create free account. Okay, and you will be routed on this page where you need you have a freedom to create your own name or um, email. Let's just say um, hello, hello, um, Robin. Okay, and um, as you can see here, there is like a drop down, and um, you have an option. You have the freedom to use it's either outlook.ph, outlook.com, or hotmail.com. So just say I want to just want to I want to use outlook.com. Okay. And after that, click next. If your the name you you choose is available, so it will go through this page. Create a password. So creating a password it's very important. Make sure uh, that it's um, with combination of letters and numbers. And um, if you want to make it more secured. Um, you have to put some symbols or whatever symbols you want to use. Okay, then you can um, click on next and you know continue the process of creating your own Microsoft account. But since I already have a Microsoft account, let me show you how um, it looks like. Okay, so I already have an Apple account. Here's my uh, my my inbox. Okay, and um, today's lessons we're gonna create forms or an attendance tracker since um, nowadays we want to to make sure that um, our students or as a teacher um, our, our students are um, you know uh, taking their class on time and we want to make sure that they're not absent because um, you know it would help their grade well right so let's see all right and where can we get the Microsoft Forms application um, online? So here's on the upper left side of your Microsoft Outlook, you will see like an app launcher, okay, where all the applications applications are available. So you just need to click that, and it will show you um, a list of applications available like Outlook, um, Word, Microsoft Excel. Uh, OneNote, Calendar, To Do, and Skype, or even PowerPoint. Okay, but Forms is not available here, so you just need to click All Apps. Okay, and um, it will show you the list of any uh, more application available for uh, Microsoft. Okay, so let's just say I'm looking for Forms, and here you go. Okay, let me just right click and open Link New Tab. Okay, and, and you will be routed on this page. So this is how Microsoft Forms look like, okay? This is a, the, the home page where you can see uh, the, the available template, um, recommended template by micro, Microsoft. First is we have customer feedback survey, course evaluation survey, or event feedback survey, or even employee satisfaction survey. If, if, if you, know, you want answer from your employee. So here, um, what we're going to do again is we will create an attendance tracker because um, we, um, we we don't know yet, right? Uh, we are not um, we don't know yet where we can you know, do a face-to-face -face classes, and um, we want to to keep on tracking our student if they are um, you know attending their classes, even they're at home or they're doing an online classes. So let's see. Um, you just need to go to new form, okay, hit new form, okay, alright, and you will route it on this page where you can create now the title, 
and um, let's just say let's put a title here condense sorry tracker okay and you can also put a descriptions of your attendance tracker let's just say this is only for my student okay so that they will know that um, if they're not student of course you're not allowed to um, answer the forms okay so as you can see here we already have a title for attendance record so what we're looking is if you're a teacher so what you want to look is um, of course your name there okay your uh, your student name um, of course the date um, when the, the the student filled this up and um, first section and let's just say a year level okay let's just third year fourth year first year second year grade seven grade eight those are just examples okay so uh, let's start with the teacher's name okay let me just click add new okay and when you click add new it will give you an option uh, there's choice text rating and uh, of course date okay but for for teacher's name we're gonna use only text because we want to uh, we're not gonna choose instructor but if you have a list of your instructor then you can I um, mean or your co-instructor you can create your uh, you can choose choice okay let me just click on text All right um, teachers sorry teachers name. okay and um, and when they are answering these forms okay they just need to put their answer here below enter your answer okay all right and to make sure that it's uh, to make sure that your student will not skip uh, the name or so that the data will be 100% um, um, complete you should click on the required button okay so that your student will not can skip um, the teacher's name okay all right and after that um, we want to know who's this student okay say um, text again um, student name okay and of course it will be automatically required all right so you don't need to, to click the buttons again all right and the answer is here below uh, below the student name okay and uh, let's just say we, not, we want to add um, the date where the student fill up the, the form say here so we're gonna we're not gonna use the text because we want to know the real time date and of course um, so that it will be easier for 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 the uh, for your student to answer um, the date okay so let me just click this all right let's just put um, class date okay. sorry class date okay all right and click here and it will be automatically required and um, yeah the answer should be here okay. yeah, it's gonna be easy for your student because the, the calendar will shows um, I mean the real calendar let's just say for this one um, September 6 so this is how it looks like okay later on I'll show you um, on the preview page how it looks like when they're answering the form okay and um, we want aside from class date we want to put a section okay because you have a lot of student if you're an instructor you have a lot of student um, and they have different um, um, sections let's just say add new um, section sampagita okay okay it's another text section Okay, and it's already required, All right? Okay, and um, after that, after section, you can also put yeah, like the year level. Okay, let's just say year level, level. Okay, and um, yeah, it's already required. 
All right. Real level and nine. Yeah, we're all set with our attendance tracker. So let's just say let's click preview again, and it will give you here. All right. And the question is, how can we, uh, how we can share it to our students? Okay. So how you can send it over to your student is you just need to click on send and uh, just copy the link. Right, and will automatically copy to your clipboard and um, you can all you can you can even use your QR code or embed and um, through email okay and uh, you can also send it through social medias like Facebook and Twitter all right so hopefully you learn things here um, and um, you can now start creating your own forms any type of forms and um, thank you for watching again don't forget to subscribe